all right students so we shall continue with exercise 10.1 few questions are left let us complete them today so let's go to question number 12 first if you read the question they are saying a student got 180 marks and failed by 30 marks so he got 180 and he got failed by 30 marks okay so from here logically how much is the passing mark but passing mark is obviously 180 plus 30 it is 210 okay now they are saying that this 210 is 30 percent mark 35 percent marks rather because if you get 35 percent you get passed right so 35 percent is 210 so i will assume that the maximum marks let the maximum marks be x so, 35% of this x is basically 210. So, you know how to bring it to fraction. So, by 100 is 210. So, this shall give us x is equal to 210 into 100 by 35. After simplification, you will get x equal to 600. That means the maximum marks in the exam was 600. Now let's go to the next question. This is question number 13. Okay. An alloy is made up of 25% copper, 35% nickel, and the rest is zinc. So this is a concept from chemistry actually. It, an alloy is a mixture of metals. So it has three metals. One is a copper, Cu copper, 25%. Other is the nickel, symbol is Ni. 35 percent you learn the symbols in chemistry in the higher classes and rest is zinc so how much is zinc then so amount of zinc will be 100 percent means total minus 25 minus 35 that means 40 percent okay so zinc is present in 40 percent now find the mass of the zinc in 8 100 kg of the alloy so i am going to take 800 kg of this alloy so mass of zinc zinc is what zinc is 40 percent isn't it so what i'll find 40 percent of 800 kg so this will give us 40 by 100 into 800 cancelling the zeros finally i have 320 kg very easy once you know how to find a percentage of zinc all right now let's go to the final question that is question number 14 so they are saying there is a drum and the drum contains 200 liters of diesel okay so total we have 200 liters of diesel and then 15 liters of diesel was lost due to leakage so there is a leakage over here and because of this leakage we lost 15 liter what percent of diesel remained in the drum so how much diesel remained in the drum so i can write over here remaining diesel is obviously your 200 minus 15 liter that is 155 liter so now how much is left percentage wise 155 total was 200 into 100 you have to, because you have to convert to percentage so cancelling the zeros 185 by 2 percent that is 92.5 percent all right very easy so that brings the end of the chapter from the next video onwards we shall be starting the next chapter